Hi everybody, it's Dasha Bella and Vinch standing in a field of roses. And don't worry, these ones don't have thorns. I've already checked. See? Yep, we are all Gucci. I love standing in a field of flowers. They're just so, so pretty. But welcome back to Star Equestrian, guys. It's Monday and I know it might be a little bit weird because I don't normally post like a full Star Equestrian video on Mondays. But after I got my chest this week, I kind of, I kind of got a little motivated. And then also, I've just been like wanting to do the full storyline so, so badly. So yeah, I guess we're doing a video on Monday. I guess that's fine. Great way to start the week. Before we jump into the video, guys, what do you think about Finch's little do-up today? I actually decided to put on this like blue and white tack set on her. I think it looks nice, but... I want to see if I change this back to her standard color. I feel like her mane and tail, like the original color, is just so pretty. And yeah, I think it does look better here. So I guess the tack set will change, but her original mane and tail color, I love it so, so much. So let's jump into today's video. I got to share with you guys what I got in my chest because I think I got really, really lucky this week. So let's start off with the standard stuff with my chests. So my club chest is pretty basic this week. It was actually kind of disappointing and I got a little bit scared when I saw the stuff in it. So my club chest had a saddle that I already own and some keys. Those are the only two things that I kind of cared about from here. I was a little bit sad that I didn't get five star tack, but I actually managed to get five star tack elsewhere. And I'm going to show you guys the tack a little bit later on. Champion's chest. Okay, this was one of the big ones. So I am part of the coven. And we actually placed third last week on the leaderboard, if I can remember how to do this. Um, so this is this week, we're gonna ignore this. So last week we placed third. And if you are in third place on the leaderboard, we have a really good chance of getting some of the really good rewards. And for me, I actually managed to get another Vulcan Frisian. Now I know some people hate getting Vulcan Frisians now because they might have too many. I don't have too many yet. And so because I got this Vulcan, Emperor got a new updo because I unlocked the next level of cosmetic upgrades for the Vulcan Frisian. So say hello to the upgraded Emperor. He is looking so handsome with the flaming mane. I really think this is so, so cool. I just kind of like tiny, tiny little complaint, tiny little tidbit. I kind of wish the flames really felt like they were together because I can see like where they're kind of placed on the neck but the concept is just really cool and just riding around with this flaming mane I just think it is so so awesome so I'm so glad we have this I just hope my character doesn't get burnt when I ride Emperor because yeah the mane is super cool but uh if I start getting scorch marks on my club outfit I do think I'm gonna be too happy about the change and I might have to switch back to Emperor's original mane but yeah I was so happy to get this upgrade for Emperor's main style. Like again, I am still waiting to get the braided tail because that's the thing I actually want the most for the Vulcans. So yeah, here we go. I got four Vulcans now. And Emperor's the first one. Level 45. He's He's been in retirement actually. I haven't been riding Emperor and I really should be riding this boy. He is really lovely. Um, So I think it's Mastery 6. Yeah, so this is what I want. And I think some people are gonna think this is like super lame. I just want the braided tail like I think this look might be my favorite I might even take off the flaming mane and just have the braided tail and the plain mane like that's my vision for when it comes to emperor but in the meantime I'm gonna play around with this flaming mane for sure I just think it's so so cool and I don't see many people using it even though I see a lot of Vulcan Frisians okay Aside my champion's chest, I also got some really exciting stuff from my racing chest. So last week I went, out, went all out with racing, but I didn't go as hard as I did during the first couple of weeks. Just because I was like kind of all over the place last week and I couldn't commit to burning up all my tickets every day. So I didn't get to like rank as high as I would like, but I still ranked 7th on the leaderboard last time I checked. 
Um, although I think I was supposed to be sick. I, I don't think we can see it here anymore, but I think I was supposed to be sick last week, but we had one player that was like bugged on leaderboard and was either in like second or third place. So I was technically supposed to be sick, um, but it doesn't matter because the rewards for fourth to 10th place is the same. So I was due to get a 20% chance of getting a Forest Lord, 25% chance for 5 star attack, 27.5 for a 5 star horse, and then 27.5 for gems. And would you believe it? I got stupidly lucky again and I managed to roll another Forest Lord this week. So because I got two Forest Lords, Wattle also got a cosmetic upgrade. So here's little Wattle. So the burning mane is gone, but look, little Wattle has horns. Oh, she is such a cute little forest dragon. I love this look. Like this is my perfect look for, for Wattle. She's just so adorable. Um, I've actually renamed her because of the addition of the horns. So she is now called Dragon Wattle because she just looks like a little dragon to me. Um, and I love dragons too, so I think this is just such a cute addition for such a adorable forest lord. Like, guys, I got so lucky this week, it wasn't funny. But I also think I maybe played quite a lot last week too, so I would be pretty devastated if I didn't get any good stuff. Okay, so it wasn't just the horses I got super lucky with. Um, I probably need to stop doing this, but I... Because we don't get horses from Silver Keys anymore, I have not been opening my Silver Keys like on videos anymore just because it's just tack and I don't know, I don't get as excited for tack anymore as I did before because like the whole point of Silver Keys, it was either the surprise horse or the surprise tack, like I was totally fine with how it was before. Now that it's just tack, I kind of just do like 10 draws by myself when I'm not recording, like just for funsies, I'll see the keys and I'll just be like, okay, I'm just gonna get rid of these keys because I know they're building up. But today I actually got lucky. So I managed to get five star tack from my silver key pool. Uh, let me change to a different horse to showcase the tack because I kind of want to show this to you guys as well. Um, let's put it on Cricket. I haven't ridden Cricket in ages. Oh my gosh, it was so, so adorable. So I, got a brand new saddle from my five star tack pool. So I got the quick Nordic saddle of agility. Um, and I think most people are going to be thinking like, okay, yay, it's five star tack, but what's so special about it? So I get excited for tack if I'm able to complete the set. So for me, the tack bonuses for the saddle is all right. I actually do have other preferences. So this tack in particular gives you acceleration and agility and then your like half stat is jump. And these are stats that I'm sort of not really, I don't really care about these stats at the moment. I might change in the future, but I have the saddle. So because I got the saddle, I've actually managed to complete my tack set. So I had the saddle pad. I got this long ago. And again, I think I never showed this on video because I just pulled this off video. So this is the saddle pad great combination like this is such a cool looking set already if i had a really lovely looking draft horse that looked like it belonged in the snow i think this would be so so cute um and also i have the bridal for this set so the bridal is the quick nordic bridal of agility and this was actually the first five star bridal i actually leveled up um i haven't gotten it to 25 i stopped at 22 because i got a better bridal but look at the full tack set! I think it just looks so wonderful. I think on a draft horse in particular, this would just look absolutely fabulous. Actually, speaking of draft horse, let me get Angus and pop this on him and let's have a look and see what this looks like on, on Angus. Oh, look at him! Oh my gosh, this looks so fabulous. I love completing tack sets because now I can just use them like just to dress up if I really wanted to. But yeah, this looks so, so lovely. I'm probably going to use this tack set when the snow area opens up. And uh, yeah, quick, quick, I don't know if it's like spoilers or anything. I think you guys would have seen it. But towards the bottom side of the map, so south of heart side, there's snow. Um, I don't think it's a secret. I think from certain areas you can see the snow. Um, so if you didn't know, this area down here is snow. It's not revealed. 
Um, it's not done yet. It's not even open to VIPs, but I know there's snow. And just because I know that there's snow, I'm probably going to use this taxa to like explore the new area when it does eventually open. But that will be after Bronco, because um, Bronco is still not open yet. But yeah, I was just so happy that I finished this taxa. I was just like, oh my gosh, what luck. Okay, with that done and dusted, let's continue on with the fall storyline, because that is something that I really wanted to do today because we've already done the cave quest mine and I'm kind of wondering what sort of next. Oh, wow, that was fast. A few weeks later. Oh my gosh, it's nighttime. <gasps> oh, there's no moon. Is that supposed to be the moon? Oh gosh, that is actually spooky. Okay. Okay, Parmesan, what are we doing today? Please don't be some kind of like secret Halloween quest. Boy, howdy. Haven't seen you in a while, Dashabella. It has been a while. You look beside yourself with excitement, FJ. What's going on? Oh, I am. Because today is the big day. The big day? You betcha. I'm going around to Athena's ranch to pick up cheddar. No way. Is it that time already? Oh my gosh, really? Whoa, cheddar is so big. Look at that mane. Those rare fruits really made them grow up fast. It feels just like yesterday we were in our boat out on the lake together. Oh my gosh, Cheddar does look so different. Oh boy, that's a real beauty right there. A star championship winning horse for sure. Thanks a bunch, Athena. Couldn't have done it without you. Um, okay, I have questions, guys. Is this really Cheddar? Because I swear Cheddar looked a little different when he was a foal. Of course you couldn't have done it without me. Yeah, I don't know. He, this, this horse looks off. Is this really Cheddar? I would have figured something out. Now, Cheddar has finished basic training, right? Reckon it's up for winning a race today? There's an exhibition in Redwood that starts in a while. My horses are always ready to race. And win. You should know that by now. Dashabella, go show John here what my horses can do. Oh, okay, wait, we're racing with Cheddar. So is this really Cheddar? Wait. Am I supposed to ride with my horse? Wait, where's Cheddar? This doesn't seem right. Oh my gosh. Um, we'll ride Finch, I suppose. Am I not supposed to ride Cheddar? Uh, okay. I suppose. Either my quest is bugged or I'm supposed to compete and then Cheddar's gonna beat us? Is that what's supposed to happen? All right, well, good luck, Finch. Oh gosh. Um, but this horse is pretty straightforward, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Although it did look super windy on the map, so I don't know. I hope I don't get too lost. It is a bit dark, so it's a little hard to see in front of us. I'm just slowing down around the corner because we can't see behind the tree. That Finch is always just flying over these jumps. But she is a Pegasus after all. But was that really Cheddar? Cheddar looks so different when... Cheddar grew up. Like even the leg markings looked a little different and I don't think we saw any Sabino because I'm pretty sure Cheddar had Sabino because we saw the Sabino on Cheddar's belly when he was a foal. Oh gosh I almost faulted there. There we go. Perfect job there Finch. Lovely lovely. Ooh, we are actually doing really great, but I kind of wonder where the ending is. This is a super long course. Slow down. There we go. You can see the next jumps. Wow, this is actually a super long course. All right, slow down. Oh, got a little bit too close there, but it's fine. It's fine. Super, super good here for Finch. All right, go up the hill, my girl. Doing fantastic. Well done. Straight up over the jump. I'm gonna just go for a bit of a slower turn. This course probably would have been a bit easier if I put on my proper like competition tack, but I mean this tack set looks really cool. Okay, around the corner. Oh, a little bit off there. I think we're going a little bit too fast, but that's okay. Through the flags. Doing great. Around the corner, last jump. I had to slow down to make sure we were straight on. And well done. Two minutes and three seconds. Magnificent. 
Were we supposed to compete on our horse? Maybe we were supposed to race against Cheddar. Wow, you are quick as lightning, Cheddar. Parmachon is going to be so pleased. We didn't run Cheddar. Oh my gosh. No, we didn't get to ride Cheddar. Guys, we were supposed to ride Cheddar. There you are, Dash Bella. How'd the race go? Cheddar did a great job. I think you were right about the pear cactus after all, FJ. Yeehaw! I knew I had a champion horse on my hands. I could tell from the first time I set my eyes on him. I can't wait to battle it out with you in the star championship. Huh. Yeah, mm, I guess it's on me to perform now. <laughs> you okay, FJ? What? Yeah, I'll be fine. Say, I gotta run. But can you meet me at the entrance to Redwood later? There are some things I need to discuss with you. Oh, okay. Watch Farmer John leave. Interesting quest line. So he is leaving. John, I love Cheddar like my own child. Take care, please. Of course, I swear. Is he really leaving? Oh, Cheddar's gone. Okay, ride to the Redwood Forest entrance. Okay, so where is Finch? Finch! Okay, there you are, Finch. What are you doing in the paddock? Um, so we got to go to the Redwoods. We're going to teleport very quickly over here. There we go. Fast travel. And there's FJ. Howdy, partner. Glad you could join me on this fine evening. Come, let's ride and talk. Oh, gosh. It's lovely, isn't it? If only every night were as fine as this. What was it that you wanted to talk to me about? Well, it's been a beautiful thing seeing Cheddar here all grown up and performing like a true champion. But I think Athena was right after all. What do you mean? I mean, who am I kidding? I'm 60 years old. I'm no star equestrian and I never was. I'd have better luck finding a darn unicorn than I would winning the star championship. I feel like a failure. You know, you may not win the star championship, but I'm so proud of you for dreaming and being passionate about your dream. The world needs more of it. Thank you for saying that, Dashabella, but I don't know what to do because I love Cheddar, but I don't feel up to the challenge of competing anymore. All the hype has passed, and now that I'm faced with the reality of the situation, I'm feeling rather foolish. Oh, gosh, what was that? Don't tell me they're wolves. Oh, I see red dots on the map, guys. I see red dots. Okay, we're going to stay with FJ. Keep your cool, Finch. Keep your cool. Oh my gosh, Finch is an alert horse, so... What? Wait, who? Hello? Who was that? Look over there! We've got to help! Okay, I, I see a wolf, but I also see a foal that looks exactly like Cheddar. Cheddar? Are you, are you Cheddar or are you just a foal? Hold on, Dashabella. I'll come help. Gosh, I, okay, I can't. I can't promise. I'm going to voice over wolves properly, guys. These wolves look like they could pounce any second. I need to scare them off. Oh, okay. Oh, geez. Um, okay, we're going to continue. The pack of hungry wolves have surrounded the foal. When the wolf's eyes glow, approach it with your horse and tap the interaction button to scare it away. <gasps> Are you serious? Oh my gosh. I, they even look scary in the picture, but okay. When their eyes glow. Oh my gosh, guys. Uh, okay, there are nine. Oh, is it you? Okay, you are definitely angry. Okay, you need to go. Good job, Finch. Scare him off, Finch. Oh, gosh. Okay, wait. Are there any more? I'm pretty sure we're going to have another angry wolf somewhere. Oh, it's you. It's you. Okay, stop. Stop. Go away. Good job, Finch. Oh, my gosh. Finch is doing so good. The fact that she's also such a big scaredy cat as well. Oh, it's coming again. No. Go away. Go away, leave the foal alone. No, 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 you go away too. Good job, Finch. Oh my gosh, keep going, Finch. We've got one here. Go away, go away. Oh, we got another one. Come on, Finch. Just a few more to go. We can do this. Scare off the wolf. Good job. Oh my gosh. Oh, this one here. Scare him off. Good job. Keep rearing. We've got another wolf here. Go away, wolf. Go away. Okay, we're gonna make sure we keep our eyes on these other wolves, like this one here. I saw you, Mr. Sneaky. Bugger off you. Oh my gosh, <gasps> they're running away. 
Oh, we did it. We saved the fall. Oh my gosh, there's so many falls. Oh, hello. Oh, who are you? Oh my god. Okay, I know we're supposed to check on that fall. Hang on. Hold on. Hold on. Where did all of you guys come from? Look at the colors of them too. Oh, they're so pretty. Oh my gosh. I love this little patchy white one here. Oh, they're so adorable. <gasps> okay, there's, there's no way Star Equestrian does not include breeding. I just, I need to get my hands on all of these tiny little cuties. Oh, they're so adorable. Are you okay, little one? Oh, what's rustling in the bush? What on earth is going on? Oh my gosh, it's showing off all the little balls. Ah, I can't stop looking at the white one with the pink nose. <gasps> That's so cute. Son of a gun. Where have all these balls come from? Oh gosh, don't tell me there's more wolves. We better get out of here. And we need to take these guys with us. Oh gosh, leave the... <gasps> oh, wait, what? We have so many falls. Oh my gosh, there's so many falls. Oh my goodness, they're probably... Oh my... Oh, I'm in heaven, guys. I am in heaven. Oh, there's so many falls. Oh, this is so cute. I can't leave with them, but I know there are wolves in here too. But they're so adorable. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, we've left the redwood, but oh my gosh. Oh, guys, looks like we're almost out of the forest. Oh, jeez, these wolves are such a pain in the bum. No, wolf. No, these falls are ours. All of them. No, no howling is going to take these falls from us. Uh, that's not good. Everybody, run! Wait, we really have to run? Oh, my gosh. Run, guys, run! We need to go! We need to just go! Run, my little falls, run! Stay with me, little guys. Stay with me. We gotta keep running. We're just gonna run straight to the town, okay? The town is gonna keep us all safe. Oh my gosh. Finch. What have we done, Finch? Look at all of our new little friends. Oh, I think we've lost them. Gee, that was close. Yeah, too darn close if you ask me. We better get all these falls back to the ranch and see what Athena thinks of all this. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. Look at this. I love the fact that they run with us as well. Oh my goodness. I don't want this to end. Should I just not end the quest so we can like run with the little falls forever? Oh my goodness. This is so heckin' cute. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry guys. We're gonna have to say goodbye. Athena! Athena, we have a crisis. We have so many balls. Oh my word! Where did you find all these balls? There's so many of them! Crazy story. We rescued this fall from a pack of wolves in Redwood. Then out of nowhere, a bunch more falls appeared, seeking our aid. These poor creatures. Wait until I get my hands on those wolves. It was a close call. They chased us till the edge of Redwood. Just glad we escaped. Dang wolves just about made a meal out of us. Who's gonna take care of them now? You, of course. Hasn't this been your lifelong dream to start a fall sanctuary? You don't need to remind me, but I just don't have the space or the money to house ten more falls. Um, Athena, I think you're forgetting about that golden horse statue. Say, Athena... I've been thinking, what if I gave you the money to transform this place into a fall sanctuary? What? How? I've got a little nest egg for my retirement. You would do that for me? Of course, but it's not an entirely selfless act. There's something in it for me too. I would become your business partner in the sanctuary. You see, I would take an equal share in all of the profits. And that way, I can finally retire from farming. I see. The thing is, I'm not sure a fall sanctuary would make a lot of money. Sure it would. We just need to think a little bigger. This sanctuary could be the greatest attraction in all of Evervale. 
I like the sound of that, but what did you have in mind? I'm glad you asked. We could have a petting zoo, an educational workshops, and a healthcare centre where Vanessa can check up on people's foals or horses. Add a few things like that, and I figured she'd be one heck of a tourist attraction. Yes, yes, I think that might actually work. We could even put in a little cafe. I know how much the locals love their fresh coffee. Oh, coffee. That's a good angle. So, do we have ourselves a deal? We have ourselves a deal, John. What are you going to call your sanctuary, Athena? I don't know yet. How about the Golden Foal Sanctuary? You could display the Golden Foal statue I found in that cave in a glass case. I bet people would love to see that. That's brilliant. I'm shocked that I didn't think of it first. The Foal statue is linked to Evervale's long and forgotten past. That's why it'll be the beating heart of the sanctuary. That'll guarantee a strong and consistent turnout of visitors. They'll come from all over to witness the grandeur of the Golden Foal Sanctuary. How about that? After months of hard work, it's finally finished. I can't believe it. It looks amazing. Congratulations. It does look amazing. Just how I imagined it. Athena is back. But you know, I couldn't have done it without you two. Thank you both. I don't know how I can ever repay you. Knowing that any lost or injured foal has a place to call home is payment enough for me. I reckon I owe you both a big ol' thank you as well. Thanks to both of you, I'm retired now, and not a moment too soon. Yeehaw! <laughs> I'll have more work to do than ever before, but I like it that way. Well, I better get going, but I doubt this will be a goodbye forever because I'll miss you both. Not to mention Reggie and Cheddar, so goodbye for now. Oh my gosh, is it over? The Fog Sanctuary quest is over? No! Oh, that was such a fun quest line. Oh my gosh, we actually did it. So, so we're really done. Like, it's, it's really over. Oh my gosh, we really did it. All 16 quests. Oh, that was so fun, guys. Oh my gosh, I actually cannot believe that was as great as it was. I didn't think we'd be able to do stuff like that but to be able to chase the wolves and to be able to run with so many falls like oh my gosh my mind is completely blown I want more quests like this oh that was so so fun guys but unfortunately I think that's going to be it for today's video I'm actually so sad that we're now done with the fall quest line like I just can't believe it turned out the way that it did I'm so excited for any future quests coming to Star Equestrian because for the fall quest to be like that, I don't know. Like the story was cool, the activities were cool, I just want more. Oh my gosh. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video as much as I did because oh my gosh, I had a total blast. If you're enjoying the Star Equestrian series, as always, please do leave a like on the video just so I know that you are enjoying it as well. And if you are new to the channel, Hi, my name is Dasha Bella. I'm a virtual equestrian VTuber and I play a whole bunch of horse games on my YouTube channel. I mostly play Star Equestrian, but I am adding more games to my catalogue. So if you also love horse games, consider subscribing to the channel so you can get future notifications for all of my future uploads and also to get a heads up on any new games that are going to be coming to my channel. Before I go, I'm going to leave you guys with a question of the day. Out of all the foals that we saw in today's video, which one was your favorite? Mine, I said this before, it had to be that little blotchy white one with the pink nose. Oh my gosh, it was so, so adorable. But let me know in the comments below. Oh my gosh, I just, I want a foal now. Oh, they were so adorable. Uh, I'm not going to stop thinking about them for days. But that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Have a wonderful week and I'll see you in my next upload. Bye, everybody.